One of the most common tools to use in the Splash CMS is the Width and Height Accordion tab inside the Layout tab. Whether you are updating the width of elements or blocks, the Width tab will give you multiple options and levels of customization. For most edits, the Width drop-down grid is all you need. It is quite simply a visual representation of percentages. From top to bottom, we have 25%, 33%, 50%, 66%, 75%, 75%, and 100% or full width. You also have the option to enter a custom value by clicking on Custom. As best practice, it is highly advised to use percentages as the unit of measurement for width and height. REMS and M's will also scale responsively, but you'll find percentages the easiest to consistently manipulate. Minimum width, maximum width, minimum height, and maximum height allow a designer to establish restrictions on certain elements and blocks. This can help limit the amount of space certain things take up on an event page, but can be dangerous when you'd like for everything to scale responsibly. A hard width of 800 pixels, for example, may look appropriate on desktop, but in the mobile world, content might be skewed or extend too far wide outside of the page. For this reason, we recommend experimenting with these inputs with extreme caution or avoiding them altogether, unless you are supremely confident in your strategy. Keep in mind, that width and height can be updated to completely different values on tablet and mobile to allow for fluid restructuring of elements and blocks.